This is Poetry Lounge, episode number 87. Welcome to Natural Woman Alchemy, the podcast, a safe and supportive space for women. And here we dive into heart-centered and candid conversations all about self-love and self-development, sacred sexuality, sensuality, women leadership, sisterhood, natural and holistic health, nutrition, wellness, relationships, spirituality, and anything really of the heart. I'm your host, Nadine Kuhn. I'm a holistic transformation coach for women, wellness advocate, singer, voice coach, healthy foodie, and a lover of nature and the arts. Each week, we are diving into our sacred feminine temple, and I give you powerful food for thought and motivation. I also bring on honest and vulnerable conversations with female visionaries, thought leaders, coaches, artists, and musicians from all over the world to share their message with you. So join Natural Woman Alchemy and become part of the family. Hello, my loves, and welcome to Natural Woman Alchemy, the podcast. And with another edition of Poetry Lounge, I am so, so excited for this episode because I have three amazing pieces of poetry for you. And it's also the 10th edition of Poetry Lounge, so something to celebrate. <laughs> I hope that you're all great. I hope that you're all doing well in these very particular and interesting times. We are in eclipse season. There will be an episode coming out about the full moon and eclipse season. And so stay tuned for that if you want to know what's going on energetically for all of us in the collective and individually as well so for today's poetry lounge i chose some pieces written by men and i really like them i chose them because they're very soft and strong at the same time they're beautiful they're honest they're coming from the heart And I love that. I love when men are coming from the heart and still remaining in their masculine energy, which is like the most beautiful thing ever, I think, to a woman to experience, <laughs> except for maybe giving birth to a child and having orgasms. But <laughs> I think that is one thing that a man can give a woman and she will be just blown away. And the first poem that I want to read to you of that kind of depth in a man and honesty is called polarities by kenneth caesar i hope i got his name right if not you will find his name written in the title so here we go sometimes she's like sherry like the sun through a vessel of glass like light through an oriel window in a room of yellow wood Sometimes she is the color of lions, of sand and the fire of noon, sometimes as bruised with shadows as the afternoon. Sometimes she moves like rivers, sometimes like trees, or tranced and fixed like South Pole silences. Sometimes she is beauty, sometimes fury, sometimes neither, sometimes nothing, drained of meaning, null as water. Sometimes, when she makes me pea soup or plays me Schumann, I love her one way. Sometimes I love her another, more disturbing way when she opens her mouth in the dark. Sometimes I like her with camellias, sometimes with a parsley stalk. Sometimes I like her swimming in the mirror on the wall. Sometimes I don't like her at all. <laughs> These polarities, right? And... There's something that I really love. There's something that um, I think we all should tell our partners, our lovers, that I love you even if I sometimes don't like you. And I love that because there will be times when we don't like each other much especially when shadows are coming up and behaviors that we don't really appreciate about the other person or about ourselves. 
And I think sticking and not not confusing that with maybe I don't love you anymore, but but I'm here, babe. I love you, even though right now I don't like you, and that is very powerful. So that's why I chose this piece. Of course, it um, goes even deeper and deeper and deeper. We we all have that from time to time, and I think that is love that we can accept and love everything that we can even love things that we don't like about the other person. And that is that is deep. So that's why I love this piece so much. And here is another very, very beautiful poem by Christopher Poindexter. Um, you can find him on Instagram at Christopher Poindexter, all in one word. Um, he has quite a following and for good reason. <laughs> His poetry is amazing. Um, and I chose, I don't know what is, I don't, I think it's untitled, but um, maybe we just call it for now, you are not the woman I wished for. <laughs> so here it is. You are not the woman I wished for. Where did you come from, human? You are not the bones or the laughter or the strangeness I ordered. You do not consist of the madness I so desperately and achingly long for. You are tender and sweet and as soft and lovely as a bouquet of clouds. You are more soul than body, more grace than bones, more heart than lust. But you are not what I wanted. Which analogy or metaphor or word should I give you with tears in my eyes to tell you something that is as simple as the moon is bright. You are not what I wanted. You are better. Oh, God. <laughs> like, honestly, this is... Oh. No more words. Beautiful. Like, beautiful. Thank you. And here's another great, beautiful poem written by a man. His name is Geoffrey Chaucer. And this poem is called Rondel of Merciless Beauty. Your two great eyes will slay me suddenly. Their beauty shakes me, who was once serene. Straight through my heart the wound is quick and keen. Only your word will heal the injury to my hurt heart. While yet the wound is clean, your two great eyes will slay me suddenly. Their beauty shakes me who was once serene. Upon my word, I tell you faithfully, through life and after death, you are my queen. For with my death, the whole truth shall be seen. Your two great eyes will slay me suddenly. Their beauty shakes me who was once serene. Straight through my heart, the wound is quick and keen. (laughs) <laughs> yeah beautiful 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 poetry there's so much beautiful poetry by written by men um especially about women about love and uh, I, I i can't really get enough of that because it's just balm for the feminine soul at least it is to me and I know that there are a lot of women who really love to hear these kinds of words and love to read these words from the lips of men so my loves I'm leaving you with these beautiful pieces (laughs) I hope you like them look all of these writers up Um, I will link to them in the show notes. And yeah, just open your heart, open your heart, open your heart for beauty, for love, for, for sincere words. So if you like what you hear, please subscribe, rate and review this podcast. Also share it with your fellow sister 
And I hope to hear from you. Connect with me on Instagram at Natural Woman Alchemy. And thank you so, so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being you. Remember, stay true, stay in your heart. And until the next episode, namaste.